Hello everyone, today I'm going to test free platforms that claim that can analyze data in just minutes or even seconds. All of these platforms are based on artificial intelligence. Let's start. As I mentioned in my previous video, there are plenty of such platforms available now. According to the latest data from one of the AI marketplaces, there are already 88 of them. Additionally, well-known platforms like Power BI and Tableau are also incorporating AI elements. I choose these platforms at random. Ask Edit Formula GAT and Data Chat AI. These were the ones that I could work with because there were a few others that didn't offer a free trial period or didn't seem to work. Let's start with Ask Edit. Working on the platform involves several steps. The first step is to connect to a data source. You have a variety of options for sources. You can connect SQL databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and others. You can also connect to files such as CSV files and sheets like Google Sheets. You can also attach data warehouse. For this test, I will be using a CSV file with data about bike sharing in Seoul. It's a completely random data set. I upload the CSV file and it loads quite quickly. The file size is 129 kilobytes. After this, I can immediately start asking questions about the data. I have a set of prepared questions. I type the first question into the chat and I get the first answer in less than 15 seconds. Do people rent bike more on weekends or weekdays? It calculated the average for weekends and weekdays and you can make conclusions that it's one weekends. You can also check visualization of the data below. The steps on how the AI calculated it can be viewed in SQL code, and you can even adjust it, for example. However, there are a small issue. When analyzing bike rental data by the day of the week, especially if the data has a wide range of outliers, the average value can distort the real picture. But there is no mention of this in the response. The average is influenced by extreme values, and it may not be represented for describing the data distribution. For a more comprehensive and accurate analysis of bike data, especially when there are outliers, additional statistical methods should be used. To save time, I won't go into answers to other questions, as the process is similar. I want to note that some questions, such as tell me the day with the highest bike rentals, are very simple in terms of just finding a specific number from the data, and there is no issue with them. Pros. We indeed got an answer and the code written was correct. We got it in a matter of seconds. Cons. Additional data analysis knowledge is required because uh, some answers are not so straightforward. For example, you can ask additional questions and create graphs right away. Also, I have a question of how it will work with larger data sets when, uh, for example, we connect PostgreSQL. But this tool uh, has AI training, allows you to teach uh, the system to respond better to your questions. So theoretically, using it could eliminate the mentioned problems. However, setting it up requires a data professional. Next is Data Chat AI. At first glance, it appears to be similar to Ask Edit. You can connect to a database like BigQuery, PostgreSQL, MySQL, and others, or you can attach a file, which I did. We ask the same question. Do people rent bikes uh, more on weekends or weekdays? We get a similar answer to what Ask Edit provided. We get the steps on how it was calculated, although we don't receive the SQL code. There should be some visualization here, but it's not present. However, you can create it yourself uh, by selecting the necessary parameters. Notably, this platform uh, offers some machine learning methods. For example, you can cluster data or make predictions and you can train models. Pros. You can train models. It responds quickly. Cons. I can see the result explanation so I can trust the data. The same issue as before, you still need some 
analytical knowledge to critically approach the result. Next is Formula God. This is a Chrome extension that allows you to interact with data specifically in Google Sheets. It's a simpler, more accessible and free solution. In standard Formula God is quite straightforward and it appears in the list of extensions. You can open a sheet with data. I opened the previous. Here you need to select the data range, input your question and choose the cell where the answer will appear. He tells us that people rent the same amount on regular days and weekends, but it doesn't explain why it reached these conclusions or how it calculated it. Let's ask another question. On which day were the most bikes rented? He it answered correctly. Again, I won't spend time here uh, showing the responses to other questions. Uh, the principle is clear. Pros. I don't even know what to highlight as pros here. In my opinion, it might be useful if you constantly use Google Sheets and need quick answers to questions. Cons, it's unclear how the calculation process works. I can see it so I can trust it. Finally, my general conclusion. These tools uh, can provide teams uh, with faster access to data, automate data analysis, reducing time to obtain valuable information. But as we can see, it's not possible to do it without some knowledge. In this form, it's unlikely to be suitable for large companies, especially since large companies tend to use their own platforms. It's more for small and medium-sized businesses. What do you think about these platforms? Write in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe.